The Amazon rainforest is on fire. Who cares? Leave that for the hippies, am I right? Wrong, you mug. There's a lot at play here than meets the eye. Smile to Jen, yeah. <laughs> There's thousands of fires that happen in the Amazon rainforest but this one has caught the world's attention because of the amount of time it's been going on. And considering it's the largest rainforest on the planet and takes in 2 billion tons of carbon dioxide and is home to half of the world's plants and species. So if something was to happen to it, it would affect the rest of the world. So what's the issue? Just put the fire out, right? Wrong! The leader is Bolsonaro and let's face it, he's not that great. So solving the problem now becomes more difficult. Bolsonaro is a far-right nationalist leader. Hashtag Modi, hashtag Trump. A hashtag kind of Boris Johnson, Most, mostly Boris Johnson. This means that his policies are supposedly put the country first which doesn't seem like a bad thing but when you've got something like the Amazon rainforest in your possession it becomes a problem because people are pushing him to deal with the issue and he's saying it's our property, mind your own business. To be fair, other countries also have burnt down bits of the Amazon and continue to make loads of money from it. So he just tried to cut in on the action and said, if you guys are making loads of money, I mean, why don't I facilitate the deforestation of the Amazon rainforest? And I can also make loads of money as well, which kind of does make sense, but he's going over the top. Brazilian President Jair Bolsonaro has undone decades of rainforest protections, causing deforestation in Brazil to accelerate in June to over one and a half football fields every minute. And considering there's natives that live there, the only way he can continue doing what he's doing in the rainforest is if he makes them seem like the bad guy, yeah? Dehumanize them. But where have we heard and seen this before. Hashtag Afghanistan, hashtag Iraq, hashtag Palestine. It's the same trend. You dehumanize the people so when you take their land it just becomes easier. Whether it's for oil in the Middle East or whether it's for wood or other resources in the Amazon. So with this far-right mentality, the world doesn't matter as much as you and your own people. It's a pretty selfish mentality and that's why when the world is trying to push him to do something, it doesn't really bother him. And he's got people like Trump supporting him. He's also gotten a boost from his ideological ally, US President Donald Trump, who tweeted that Bolsonaro was doing a great job for the people of Brazil. Considering DiCaprio has pledged $5 million all the G7 countries put together and managed to pledge 20 million. But even that Bolsonaro refused to accept until he received an apology from the French Prime Minister. Bolsonaro said he wants Macron to withdraw what he called quote insults before he'll consider accepting the 20 million dollars in aid. Now that's messed up. Imagine if your own house was on fire and someone was offering you a bucket of water. Would you refuse that bucket of water until that person apologized to you? No mate, because it's life or death. Now don't get me wrong, it's easy to put your blame on one man and one leader, yeah? I think we're grown up and we have enough knowledge to understand that that's not really the case because he received 55% of the votes. So it's the mindset of the people that needs to be changed. Same with people like Trump and Boris and Modi. These guys get voted in. So what do we learn from this? This is what far-right hatred can lead to. It may start in a small area but eventually when it spreads the whole world suffers. And it's clearly a selfish mentality which doesn't just affect Muslims, it affects minorities and once the minorities out the way it's gonna affect everyone. So we need to get out of this climate of hate and this mentality of division and try come together and look at our commonalities and how we're on this planet for a short time. Let's learn to get along, yeah? Alright guys, until next time. Asalaamu As Alaikum. Activism. You, you can't just sit in a masjid and expect Allah's help to come. And you can't just be an activist 
and without ibadah expect the help of Allah to come.